Hello students, myself Sagar Chauksi. So in last session, we have started a new concept that is seat design for ride comfort and that we have already completed in last session. So in today's session, we are going to discuss about a new concept that is changes and body alignment test. So in today's session, we are going to discuss about three topics. First one that is introduction of changes and alignment test. Second one that is vehicle cross member and subframe and third one that is water leakage test. So let's start the lecture, lecture number 25 that related to changes and body alignment test. So the first and important question that is changes alignment test. So first of all it is the combination of two words. First word that is changes and second one that is alignment test. So we all know about changes right and what is alignment test. So alignment is nothing but the line of axis are same. So in accident or you can take in vehicle performance, you need to consider balancing, you need to consider alignment. So in this way, we can talk about the changes alignment test. Alignment is nothing but the line of axis. We can talk about the line of axis because ultimately we need to reduce the accident. We need to improve the vehicle performance. We need to reduce the friction or vibration. So this is what the changes alignment test. So move forward to first point. First point and important one that is the first step is to assess the extent of damage, the probable amount of force. So now we can talk about the force. Many forces that acting on car body like, uh, like uh, vertical force, like uh, uh, driving force, right? So we can talk about the different types of forces, right? First of all, in simulation, we need to consider types of forces. Second one that is, this information will act as a guide by indicating where to look for possible distortion. So first and important one that is to look up different types of forces. Second one that is to look for possible distortion. Third one that is, third and important one that is, a visual check should be made of doors, bonnets, boot, roof and central pillar position for distortion which may be visible and last and important one that is this can only be done by jacking the car up and inserting safety stand or by using lifting equipment so this is what the chases alignment test it is the combination of two words so we all know about chases so alignment that is the line of axis so now we can talk about different First of all, we need to consider in alignment test, we need to consider different types of forces. Second one, we need to look for possible distortion. Third one, we need to consider doors, bonnets, roof and center pillar position. And last one that is, this can only be done by jacking the car up and inserting the safety stand. So this is what the chases alignment test. So move forward to next slide. Next one that is vehicle cross member and subframe. So we all know about vehicle cross member. There are different types of section we can use. But what is vehicle cross member and subframe? What is the role of vehicle cross member and subframe in this particular alignment test? So there are mainly two parameters which we need to focus. So first and important one that is the subframe and cross member can be examined for link or buckle with the aid of a portable light. But where sighting is difficult and impossible, the member are examined by torch. So this is what the vehicle cross member. Second one that is, this is not conclusive evidence of distortion, but will generally be sufficient to convince the repairer whether a more precise check should be made by using the drop line method. So this is what the vehicle cross member and subframe. So move forward to next slide. Next one that is datum point on undercarriage. So here I have attached three different uh, possible parameters that depend on datum points on undercarriage. So first and important one to measure a vehicle you will need length, width and height. So first one that is length that is longitudinal. Second one that is width that is transverse. And third one that is height that is vertical. So if you consider datum point on undercarriage, you need to consider three parameters. 
three different uh, parameters. First one that is length, that is longitudinal. Second one that is transverse, that is width. And last one that is height, that is vertical. Right. So this is what datum points on under carriage. So move forward to next slide. Next one that is water leakage. So in car you can find out corrosion problem. You can find out a uh, water leakage problem. So now what it actually means. So the first and important one that is if you have a water leaking into your car, you need to deal with it promptly because of many serious problem it can cause. So there are many problem. First one that is due to wind seal. Second one that is due to trunk. And third one and important one that is body seams. So this is what the different example of water leakage problem. Right. Second one that is second and important one that is if water sits for too long in car carpet, mold can grow and it cause the bad smell. So we all know about this parameter. Right. So move forward to third point. Third point that is other problem can include corrosion of pin connectors. Second one that is computer failure and third one that is sensor failure. And last one that is rust and high humidity inside the car causing your window to fog up. These are the main problem occur due to, due to the water leakage. First and important one that is the bad smell. Second one that is other problem like uh, uh, corrosion of pin connector, computer failure, sensor failure. So and rust and high humidity inside the car causing your window to fog up. So these are the main problem. So move forward to next slide. Next one that is coolant may leak from a car for a number of reasons. So now we can talk about different reasons. So the most common are radiator corrosion, like a damaged coolant hose or water pump with a leaky gasket. And next one that is in the vast majority, majority of cases water leaking from under a vehicle is usually condensation from the AC system. So to AC system this particular problem are occur. But we need to consider, we need to reduce this particular uh, leakage problem because ultimately what our target is to increase the vehicle performance, right? So move forward to eighth one, rush inside the car causing your window to fog up. So these are the problem occur due to the water leakage and we can sort out, right? We can sort out by different method, right? So this is what a water leakage. So move forward to next slide. Next one that is we need to consider different parameter. So first of all, uh, first and important one that is leaking wind seal. Second one that is leaking body seams. And third one that is leak into the trunk. So in if you consider water leakage, so you need to consider three parameter. First one that is leaking wind seal. Second one that is leaking body seams. And third one that is leak into the trunk. So move forward to next slide. Next one that is leaking wind seal. So now what is leaking wind seal? So in first and main cause of water leak in a car is the poor installation of wind seal. So what is leaking wind seal or you can take how it can be implemented. So the poor installation are there. Second one that is if a professional replaces the wind seal, it will take a minimum of an hour. And next one that is it take time to remove the mounting can the wind seal out and clean the old one. So in this way, you can sort out this problem, right? So this is what the leaking wind seal. So move forward to next slide. Next one that is leaking body seams. So here, what is leaking body seams? So the first and important one that is body seams are the second major cause of water leaking in your car. So how it can be reduced or how seams that weren't properly sealed at the factory or seams that were broken open by car accident will usually cause the mystery water leak. So this is what a leaking body seems. So move forward to next slide. Next one that is leaking into the trunk. So here in image you can find out the leaking into the trunk. So the first and important one that is in image you can find out a full moldy smell in the trunk may result from water getting in around the trunk lid. And second one that is and that is if you can identify these leaks you can get them fixed so these are the main reason or you can take if you consider water leakage then you need to consider three different parameter first parameter that is leaking wind seal second one that is leaking body seams 
and third one that is leak into the drum right so this is what you leakage problem or you can take water leakage you need to sort out because ultimately we need to improve our vehicle performance we need to reduce the vibration friction so this is what the uh, leakage problem so thank you thank you so much in this particular session we have completed two topics first one that is chases and body alignment test and second one that is water leakage problem so thank you thank you so much Thank <music> you.